I have a hot take. So QuantumScape is a $30, $25 billion company that is not planning to generate revenue for four years. And when they do generate revenue, they're going to generate like $6 billion in revenue in 2028 is their best case scenario seven years out for a company that's $25 billion today that is unproven. I mean, this is, I, 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 like, yes, it has potential, but this just totally blows my mind. When I looked at the valuation, the timing, I mean, it just absolutely makes no sense to me on any level. And the, 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 the thing that was the first red flag about QuantumScape is I was looking into this company and their entire pitch is they're going to be the first to commercialize a solid state battery. This has never been done in the EV space. Tesla's using lithium ion. And their entire pitch is like, okay, we've come up with a solid state battery. We've got it. It's going to come out in 2024 with Volkswagen. It's going to result in a car with 800 cycles or a battery with 800 cycles. That's a $30,000 car with 300 miles of range. And I'm like, wait, Tesla in four years is going to have a $25,000 car with just as much range uh, with way more cycles on their battery life that's built by Tesla by robots with their alloy that they combined with SpaceX. Like they don't even need quantum. Like the whole idea of selling a $30,000 car with 300 miles of range in 2025 built by VW, who's not even good at building cars, is actually just makes no sense to me. And then you're talking about a $26 billion market cap for a company that is building batteries. Batteries are such a low margin business. I mean, you need extreme amounts of CapEx. You're looking at consistent dilution. Um, you're looking at extremely low gross margin business that's trading at six times their own projected 2028 revenue. I mean, this just does not make any sense on any sort of level at all when you actually rationally take a step back and like batteries are a 20% gross margin business. Even if they hit their 2028 numbers, we are still looking at a six times price revenue. Even if we give them a 10% EBIT ratio on that and a 600 million thing, we're still looking at a 60 times earnings ratio. By then earnings, you know, interest rates have bounced back. I mean, so even in a perfect world, it's priced at 60 times their pie in the sky 2028 20, earnings. I mean, this is absolutely mind boggling from a valuation perspective. And then, uh, I don't know, I've been hearing some interesting through the grapevine things about how their technology has been a lot of over promising and under delivering. It's a 10 year old company. They've got all these VCs, all these legacy investors who want to cash out uh, their CEO previously led a company called Infinera, which was a uh, cell phone sort of legacy tech company that IPO'd, had a ton of hype. He led the company, went from like 15 to three bucks a share when he was CEO, literally a track record of destroying shareholder value. So you have a crappy management team, doesn't have like too many cooks in the kitchen. Uh, you know what I actually think that, and I'm sorry, I'm throwing a lot at you. I'm kind of like all over the place right now, but what I really think this is, it's, a, it's an amazing science project. That's why JB signed on board. That's why people are hyped about it. It's dope. They're showing progress on solid state batteries, but it's still five years away. I mean, we all thought solid state batteries were going to come out in like three years. They're saying best case is five years. There's already a bunch of other, uh, you know, solid state companies who I think are even ahead of them. And so it just, it doesn't make sense to me, but I do think it probably has promise in the lab and that's why JB wanted it. But, but now what we're talking about back to why I mean, the JB thing is, is fascinating because JB Strava was a co-founder of Tesla. I mean, he's one of the lead, leading sharpest battery industry experts in the world. But you have to think about what was his passion? What did he and Elon jam on starting Tesla electric planes? We know Elon wants to do his electric VTOL. Uh, you know, I think JB wants to do electric planes even more than cars. And so that's why he's into quantum skate because he sees this solid state battery, just like Sam Corris said today on Twitter, it's first use case is going to be an electric plane, uh, not in a car. But wait, why is that? Why are they telling investors then that it's for this car? And you look at the CEO on Yahoo Finance and he's like, we believe that the battery company that propels every EV, you know, there's, you know, no EVs sold now, but 90 million cars sold a year. Once they all go EVs, the battery technology behind that EV business is going to be worth hundreds of billions. And it's like, even that's not a good CAGR because you're already worth 25 billion and Tesla battery day. Like who's going to be building all the batteries for all the EVs and building all the EVs that we're driving around in, in 10 years and getting all that value. It's Tesla. And so it, it, it blows my mind that like, it, it almost looks like quantum scapes investor presentation, just, just totally like assumed battery day didn't happen. Um, you know, look at what Sandy Monroe is saying. He's saying that because of Tesla's advances in cell to pack technology, the dry battery electrode stacking up what they announced at battery day. I mean, we've just kicked the can on how far we need solid state to, to happen because we just don't need that. Like lithium ion technology is going to keep improving and we don't even need the solid state innovation. So there's so many levels to this story that do not add up to me. Um, and I just, I, I, I'm, I'm like kind of baffled that it's gotten so much hype because it's like, I don't know, I was trying to crunch some numbers and even by their own numbers, it's so ridiculously valued. And what do we know about every EV startup, every battery program, it always takes 10 times longer. It's always 10 times slower. It always takes more time to ramp up than we expect. And so 
these guys are saying they're not even going to ramp up to like 2025 best case scenario. I mean, and they're already worth 2025, 25 billion. And in 2025, they're only going to have like 100 million in revenue. I mean, I, I think people buying the stock are just not actually like, like, it's just kind of all hype and gambling and trading without anybody looking into the company, without seeing the CEO's track records whack. And then they're just like, oh, JV Straubel's involved, must be legit. But that's the part that still is kind of eating at me is I feel like there is legitimate technology there, but it's worth 50 to 100 million, not 30 billion, because it's still five years from commercialization. It's still billion years away. Yes, I do trust JB Straubel knows what he's talking about, about batteries. Love that question. But I do not trust that he knows uh, how to value a battery company. I don't trust that he's endorsing the value of QuantumScape at 30 billion. Like I think JB Straubel will probably be like, like he's an advisor that they were probably like, yo, this is a really cool solid state battery project. We'll give you a ton of stock. If you come on as an advisor, we're going to eventually try to put this in electric airplanes. We know you're scheming on that. He's like, sure, I'll do it. Um, but he's also dedicating time on the investor stream. So that to me is the only, like, like deep down, I think what they're doing as promise. And I think they're probably a leading solid state technology, battery technology, but is it worth 30 billion? No. And do we even really need that solid state battery to power cars? No, because we have Tesla.